it's over 70 degrees i think it's just under 80 so if that means anything here in southern california this beach is gonna be absolute chaos when it's like 60 below when it's cold a few times out of the year the beach is usually dead the second i, I guarantee you the second that temperature goes over 70 degrees the beach is gonna be packed you can already kind of see it but this is how it is and even though what day is it it's uh it's Wednesday today. It's a Wednesday at 2 p.m. And I bet it's gonna be chaos down there. It's the California life. I got another one. Doing so big. Little barber pole. Right. <laughs> Smashing the one thirty. <laughs> Let's <f> go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that thing. <clears throat> Gotta take care of this guy. I'm just using that really big jig. You know, we weeds out a lot of the little ones. Earlier we were catching small ones on the 60s and stuff, but we got some bait boiling here. Let's do that monster jig down. Got a monster fish. Freaking awesome. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, I can't use that one. Go, baby. Slow death javelin. Holy shoot. Let's go. Hey, 
tail. No, just as, nah, not quite as big, but let's go, baby. This one on the Javelin, 130 gram. Slow death Javelin. White Knight. Let's go. <laughs> Going back, back to my marked area, but this whole area that I found is just crazy. We'll see if we can get the turkey. You guys want to know my setup for this one? I'm using two different setups, but this is a. This one's the Phoenix Titan. This is the long fall rod. And it's a PE 1.0 to 4.0. And it's jig weight 100 to 300. Using a submission fishing. Slow death jig, 130 gram. This is the Phoenix Fathom. This is a long fall rod, uh, not, not a slow pitch rod. The big one I caught was on a slow pitch rod. This is a version of slow pitch rod, but it is a little more stiff. And it's a little different technique, but very similar. Extremely thin PE. Let's see if we can get the turkey. And what I want to do here, when you're slow jigging from the bottom for rockfish, I don't want it to flutter down. I want this thing to the bottom as quickly as possible. Because otherwise you're gonna kite off and drift. You know, you're obviously you're gonna do this on a boat or a kayak or something. And that super thin PE is really gonna help me get down there fast too. Then once we hit the bottom, then we start jigging. I don't care about the flutter on the way down. You know, that's like fishing for the docks and stuff like that. Or even for shallow yellowtail and stuff. Let's go. You see that drag pull? Oh man, look at this. That's the turkey. Look at that fight. Oh, it came off. It came off. Let's send it back down. That was the turkey. It took itself off. Okay, there we go. Came back. Whoa. This one's bigger. Gotta loosen that drag. This is the 130 White Knight, slow death, javelin. Just absolutely decimating these things. I don't know if that was the same one. Came off initially. This is another beast. So if it's vermilion, we only get four. A little pull and drag, wow. I'm gonna let it pull. Like I said, my line's so thin. It, it's not a real powerful braid. I mean, it is, but it's like maybe 15 pounds. If it wants to take drag, let it take drag. monster we're on them oh they're eating they're feeding this guy just coughed up all kinds of stuff tank number three tank number three Oose. You guys are curious what I'm doing, it's Ikajime. I hit him with the brain spike to kill him quickly. And then send this down their spine, their nervous system. Scramble the nerves. You can feel that bone right in there. See that? Goes all the way down. And then I cut the gills. And basically, you know, keeps all the cortisol and you know, if the fish just suffocates on the deck, the meat's just not as good. You want all the functions to stop. And then you want to get the blood out. This is the, the second, the last step. This is 
if the fish is stressed out, the longer the fish stays stressed out and just dying and suffocating, it's just not as good for the meat. So whenever you can, just take care of it. When I say take care of it, it's humane for the fish too. You know, you're killing the fish extremely quickly, like instantly. It's not suffering on a deck or anything or in a bag. And it's not slowly dying. So it's killed, then you shut down the nervous system, and then you bleed it. So even though you kill the brain and then scramble the nervous system, uh, the heart will still continue to pump. And that's why you want to cut the gills quick because you want that heart to continue to pump to get all the blood out. So you just want all the blood out and just dispatch as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll show a picture of I did a test and an experiment and the meat's not even the same. Like you guys, it's, it's like night and day. I only get one more of these. At least they're super quality. Got off something here, probably another big one. Thought I had a yellow tub and I got slammed. That's what I was looking for, jigging, working the zone. Fights another big rock fish. See color. run it's a lingcod or a cabazon I don't know wants to run I'm gonna let it run Nice ling. Hell yes. Hell yes. Yeah, look at the teeth on this thing. Let's go. There it is. I'm going to let it go. So it looks like my batteries are dying, but um, yeah, guys, that was, I let, I let that lingcod go. I, first lingcod I've actually caught here in uh, La Jolla, but I didn't bring anything to measure it with. And I saw my board, I'm like, oh, I'm just getting rockfish. They gotta be 22 inches, but it was close. So just let it go. It was heartbreaking. I really wanted to keep it, but you know, you gotta do the right thing. And it is what it is. We'll get another one, but it was super fun to catch. Glad I landed it. You guys, I'm on something huge. My other battery died. I've only got like 30% on that, so. This is where I caught that link cod. Pull and drag. Like I said, 15 pound test, so. Be very careful. This is incredible. Look at this thing. It's gonna fall in. Alright guys, just headed back. Good day of fishing, you know, out here in La Jolla. It's my first trip out here in La Jolla. I think it's it's like late March, first day out here in La Jolla. Uh, but just absolutely epic day rock fishing. Just caught some giants, the vermilions were huge. Got some Picasso, got that lean cod. And so we able to just make a day out of it. So we come out here to La Jolla for rock fishing. It was good, good stuff. Slow pitch jig. Pretty much everything was on that white night, uh, the 30 gram slow death jig. And these things are just monsters. I don't even know if the video does it justice. And then I had to let that ling go. I think it was legal, but 
I didn't, I, you know, I didn't bring my device, I didn't bring my measuring board, I didn't have a tape, so I let it go. And well, Bixby just died. Bixby did good though. He got us all the way out there. I did probably two thirds of the way back, so full blast. It was, it was pretty good. It saved me a lot of paddling. It's like I'm paddling the rest of the way in though. Good time. Hopefully